I have re-realized that the problem with the Curlbox subscription isn't the Curlbox subscription. It's the non-Curlbox boxes that are the problem. So hello and welcome to Dommy Tries This. I hope you brought your cuppa. Today's coffee mug you should recognize. It's a bunch of cats with Christmas stuff. We have cats with Santa's hats, cats with reindeers, cats in sweaters, and they've got candy canes and presents around them. This is one that my daughter got me this year. And on the inside, let's see if we can tip this. It says, Meowy Christmas. Meowy Christmas. Yeah, we're reusing a mug, but we are also reusing some teas. So, we have put into our tea the Stash Chocolate Hazelnut Decaf Tea. I put in two bags of this. Uh, as I, hopefully by now you've seen, I've mentioned before, that uh, the Stash Teas have gotten so old that they have started really losing their flavor. And the second one is the OT's Moroccan Mint Tea. Tea. This is an old Sips By thing, probably from last year. Well, it have to be from last year. For the first six months of this year, I didn't have a subscription anymore. So it's definitely from last year. We're trying to work through these before they run into the problems that I'm having with stash teas, losing flavor and, and, and stuff. Anyway, let's go ahead and give this a sip. I have not tried this particular combination. I have tried this combination of flavors. It's one that I generally like. However, I've not tried this combination, specific combination of teas. So we'll go ahead and give her a sip. This should actually be fairly close to um, full flavor because I started my tea and then all the people came in. And I had to wait for all the people to leave so I could get started on the video. So We'll give her a sip, and we'll go ahead and get going. She smells good. She can smell the chocolate. Interesting. And a hint of the mint. Let it taste watered down. The whole thing tastes watered down. I'm sad. I'm very sad. Let's hope that our non-subscription curl box can cheer me up. That's right, I went in and I got a non-subscription curl box. These things are dangerous. They always sound interesting. I end up getting them. <laughs> These boxes run anywhere from $15 to $25, sometimes more depending on what's in it. They've had some $50 or $60 curl box non-subscription boxes, I do believe. And it just depends on the brand and all of that. And we are in a black box. Uh, but it does depend on the brand and what's supposed to be curated in the box. It's usually your same five items, although can be more. Uh, some of the higher priced boxes, well, they used to not have shipping, but the lower priced boxes do have shipping. This one had shipping that you had to pay for in addition to it. And this is a skincare box. So, which brings me to a point about this particular box. I can't remember the name of it. We'll get into it now. But someone mentioned on one of the posts about the box that the brand that does this often does... Um, um, skin tone type skincare. So I'm really hoping I'm not in trouble here and looking at some really dark stuff that won't look right on me. <laughs> it's just, oh no, I went, oh no, I ordered one and I'm light, I'm light, I'm so light. Okay, so let's open our box and see what's inside. Ah, uh, okay, more. So this is Curl Box Kinlo. It has an oomphy thing over the top of it. I'm not sure. Kinlo Melon is thought to be about an SPF of 13, and that's not going to be enough to protect you from the sun. We partnered with Kinlo Sun, uh, sun Care, designed for the melanin rich by 
Tennis sensation, Naomi Osaka. Repeat after us. I will apply sunscreen every morning. I will reapply at least every two hours, as well as after swimming and sweating when in when I'm in the sun for a prolonged period of time. I cannot promise any of that. It will depend on how these products feel on my skin, for one. And for two, every two hours, no. <laughs> that's not happening. All right, then it shows us some stuff that's in the box. I'm going to set that down. I don't want to see everything. We're going to open this up. We got black tissue paper. Oh, I like the packaging. So we got a, we got a week. This looks interesting. I don't even know where to start. Okay, so we got uh, moisturizers. What are you? We'll go with the stuff we know and then we'll go with the stuff we don't know. So first of all, we have the Kinlo Hydrating Eye Cream. This box is so nice. It's simple. It's not overly busy. It looks like it might be recycled paper. I can't be for sure, but that is really nice. I like this. Cocoa oil, seed oil, hemp seed oil, uh, aloe vera, vitamin E. There are, looks like there's not a whole heck of a, no, here we go. Grape seed oil, sea tear olivate. There's a lot of interesting things. And hydrating eye cream, this gentle lightweight moisturizer formulated for the delicate eye area to soothe and rejuvenate under eyes and lids after sun daily and nightly. Stay golden, XO Naomi. <laughs> I like that. That's neat. All right, so let's take a look at the bottle, huh? I don't buy eye cream anymore. I figure it's one of those things that's an extra expense, but I don't mind getting some for free. And the packaging on the container matches the box. That's nice. There is 0.5 ounces. Uh, it's very rare that you were going to get a, a trial size or a anything less than a full size in a curl box. Very rare. I've not seen any. This is a gentle lightweight moisturizer. Okay, we did that right. Okay. How do you apply a pea size to both upper and lower eyelid in the morning and in the evening? Okay, it's got it's got a clear little one of those little plastic covers, but it's clear. That's neat. I think it's a plastic cover. Yep, it is. All right. Oh wow, that's thick. That is really thick. It's really thick. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Well, that's gonna be easy to do because it's hard to pick up. There's a little bit of it. I don't smell anything, so that's really nice. Y'all know I don't like like scents. Feels very thick. That's very smooth. That's very emolliating, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Definitely no scent. Does this have sunscreen in it? It is giving me a weird feeling on my hand, but we'll let it sit and absorb and we'll see how we like it. How we like it, but yeah, it's just a white cream. Off-white? Doesn't look quite fully white in there. The packaging itself is sort of a beige. And it's, it's a little bit lighter than the beige packaging, so it might be white or just slightly off-white. Anyway, so that's the first thing in our box. That's it. Next, we have the Kinlo Sunspot Brightening Moisturizer. Usage tips. Gently massage onto face and neck after cleansing morning or night. This daily moisture with vitamin C helps reduce the appearance of dark spots, dullness, and uneven skin tones. The lightweight formula includes hyaluronic acid and glycerin to hydrate and combat dryness for brighter looking skin. That's nice. 
I'm worried about the vitamin C. My skin has had issues with that in the past. Oh, this is interesting. Inspired by Naomi Osaka's multicultural heritage, the name Kinlo is derived from both Japanese and Haitian words for gold. That is interesting. And then we have a list of ingredients. And let's open this one up. Okay, now it's not feeling so tacky or weird. It's feeling very soft and smooth. Okay, all right. So this is 1.7 ounces. Again, a really nice, that's about what you get with a moisturizer, right? I think one of the moisturizers I get, I get three ounces in. But I think it's anywhere from one to three, depending on the brand and whether or not you're getting a regular size or you're getting one of their super sizes. So, and some pump, which is interesting. Okay. Okay, so that is a fairly thick. This would be a daytime thing for me only. I need stuff that's lightweight. It this would, I should say, this is a nighttime thing for me only. I need stuff that's lightweight during the day when I'm actually awake because it may, oh, I take that back. <laughs> I, I started to move it out and it just, it just, it felt like water. Oh, that's nice. That is also moving in. Now that has a slight scent, but nothing irritating. And nothing I can divine either. So we'll let that just sink in as well. It's another, you know, these are just white things. Okay, so next, big, big box. This is the Kinlo Cooling Moist Body Gel Moisturizer. Apply all over the body after cleansing, showering, or for an after sun refresh. This gel moisturizer provides an instant cooling relief after a long day in the sun. It's raining again outside. <laughs> this might have been better as a summer thing rather than a winter thing. Use this for an all over, use this all over, I can talk and read, for a burst of hydration with aloe vera and glycerin along with extra moisturizing oils designed to nourish melanated skin. Glycerin, menthol. That would be the cooling sensation. Aloe, ethyhexyl glycerin. Orange peel oil. So again, we got more citrus. Tangerine oil. I'm worried I can't use this. I'm worried this is gonna irritate my skin. But we will give it a try at some point. And of course, it's like a hand moisturizer type bottle. I really love the art. It's very simple, but I like it. Um, that's interesting. For a minute there, it looked like it was only folded there. Um, this is four ounces. Safety sealed. So we gotta open this up. Yes, I did that quietly. My husband's sleeping. He's got a long, long couple of weeks ahead. They have him working 11 days straight, so. We are going to let him get all the sleep. Um, I'm going to fight to get this open. Because we all know I can't open things and my nails nowadays don't help. No, don't make it this hard. Why are you being difficult? Come on. Hold, please. That sucker did not want to come off. Even after I stabbed it and made a hole and was lifting it, it wanted to stick to the bottle. Just wanted to stay there. All right. That's definitely a gel moisturizer. As you can see it's got it's kind of translucent. Interesting. 
going down the arm. That feels nice. That menthol that's in there should make it feel cooling. It feels like it's really sinking in pretty quickly. Yeah, I can smell the menthol a little bit. Also feels very soft. Yeah, that's that run really soaked in really quickly. The uh, the other moisturizer is still working on it. They go from heavier to lighter. It's funny. The eye cream is the heaviest, which is weird. And then we have the moisturizer for the face, and then we have this body gel, and then that's the heaviest is the what is the eye cream, and the lightest on my skin is the body gel. <laughs> I might be using the body moisturizer for my face. Nobody says you can't do that, right? All right, so now the two things, I'm not even sure what they are. These are the Sun Protection and Recovery Duo Kit. It came in a packaging like this. It's in a box. This is probably the one thing that costs like the most, right? There, it comes with its own separate card, apparently. We created Kin Kinlo to protect and celebrate melanin-rich skin. I'm excited to share it with you. These are two of my favorite products. I hope you enjoy them as much as I do. Enjoy the glow this season. Okay. So, Broad Spectrum SPF 50 Plus Sweat Water Resistant. This is limited edition. There's a hydrating golden mist and a golden rays sunscreen. Can I get you turned around so they, well, it doesn't matter. So that's the box. And then on the back, the active ingredient purpose is zinc oxide. So that's a chemical sunscreen, right? There's two types. Helps prevent sunburn if used as directed with other sun protection measures. Decreases the risk of skin cancer and early skin aging caused by the sun. For external use only, do not use on damaged or broken skin. When using this product, keep out of eyes. Rinse with water to remove. Stop use and ask a doctor if a skin rash occurs. Keep out of the reach of children. Apply liberal every 15 minutes before sun exposure. It doesn't say when to start. Shake well before use. Oh, apply. I said I could read. Apparently I can't. Apply liberally and evenly. 15 minutes before sun exposure. After 80 minutes of swimming or sweating immediately after towel drying to reapply. Reapply at least every two hours. See, I won't do that. That, that, that interrupts my day. And honestly, if you have it on your face, how is this useful if you have makeup over it? So, I, I don't know. I know I should be better. Uh, sun protection measures. Spending time in the sun increases your risk of cancer. Da, da, da. Limit your time in the sun, especially from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Wear long sleeves, shirts, pants, hats, sunglasses. Children under six months of age. Ask a doctor, which tells me no. A uh, melanated tinted shade blends instantly while enhancing melanated skin tones, leaving no white or ashy residue. It's a mineral based broad spectrum SPF. Zinc is zinc oxide is mineral based. Okay. Blocks 98% of UVB rays when used properly, boosting antioxidant activity as by as much as 200%. Formulated with three-way skin enhancing system for the best defense, moisture, and antioxidants for melanated skin tones. Reduces pollution-induced free radicals. Powdery matte non-greasy finish with no oily residue. Provide outdoor skin protection. Non-comedogenic. Non-nano, vegan, and reef safe. Reef safe? Okay. It's reef safe. Let's open these up. There's a golden mist and the sunscreen. Kind of concerned since it's for melanated school. The cooling mist on the side. There's more information. 
Spray all areas of the skin, save for use on the body and face. Avoid eyes. Massage, gently massage into any affected areas. For best of results, apply right after sun exposure. Discontinue if there's irritation. Do not use on an open wound. Can be used as a room spray as well. What would that do? This is an instant skin refresher and quencher for sun-drenched skin. This fine mist spray provides breathable, lightweight hydration. Multi-use spray is great for all over the body use, as well as in, for your room. Enjoy the unique blend of coconut and orange zest notes that create an aromatic experience for your senses. Includes calendula, hemp oil seed, witch hazel, and aloe vera. On the other side, golden ray sunscreen. Apply sunscreen. I have already funneled this thing so many times. <laughs> Apply liberally and evenly 15 minutes before sun exposure. Shake well. Tinted for medium to dark. It's going to be a little dark for me then. This lightweight facial sunscreen is formulated to protect against ultraviolet light and enhanced with antioxidants while providing hydration uniquely needed for melanated skin with the addition of glycerin and jojoba esters. Breathable formula ideal for active days. Contains sustainably sourced safflower oil, glycerin, jojoba, green tea, and niacinamide. Niacinamide helps combat hyperpigmentation. Alrighty then. Alrighty. Okay, so we're going to start with the sunscreen because this is the one I'm worried about. And what is interesting here is this looks like it's a metal, it's not clear. That might be to protect the sunscreen from exposure and to keep it active longer, I am not sure. Going back up the arm, all right, how dark are you? It's getting there. Ooh, it's dark. <laughs> and kind of orange. But once rubbed in, it doesn't look that bad. It really doesn't. At least not on my not on my arm. I don't know. I don't know. I'm seeing some dark shading, but not by much. It definitely seems to depend on which angle I have it in the in the lighting. Interesting. You can see it on my hand a little bit. Well, my hand is darker. Interesting. I was like, that's gonna be too dark. It doesn't seem to be too dark. Might be a smidgen too dark, but it's not horrible. It's not horrible. And by the time summer gets here, it probably won't. It'll be probably better. I could use this when I'm I'm out um, working in the garden. Yes, we're gonna do that again. We're gonna do that again. All right. So this is the Mister. Again, it's in uh, metal. Do I need to shake well before using? This says sweet orange coconut. No. There's no scent on that. Tinted mineral sunscreen. Broad spectrum. 50. Okay, so this will be great for when I go out to do that. It'll be gone very quickly, though. <laughs> Unfortunately. All right. Okay. Doesn't say shake well before using, but I'm going to shake well. And it's a mister, so here we go. Well, it does not, wow, hello. Okay, it smells mostly like coconut. It does not have a tint. After that first spray, the, the scent went down considerably.
That actually feels kind of nice. I am not allowed to get attached to these things because I suspect, I mean, just the packaging, the, 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 the sports name, I bet you the individual pieces are going to be expensive if I want to repurchase anything. I will say the coconut is stronger than any, than the orange. So anyway, interesting. And the one, only one item was tinted, which makes me happy. Of course, they don't give any prices on here. Well, um, I'm, yes, I'm that. Sora. I think that was Sora. That was Sora. We can tell there are jingles apart. I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel. The eye cream is, has settled in and it feels really nice. The face moisturizer. I'm feeling a bit of a residue on top instead of having it soak into the skin. But that might be because it was on the back of my hand. I'm not sure. The body gel. I, I think... Seriously, I think I like this more than either of the other two at this point. It feels really nice. And I probably will try this on my face. I'm not sure why you couldn't use it on your face. I mean, it's a moisturizer. They're moisturizers, right? So I'm not I don't know why there would be a reason why you couldn't. And I really like the way that feels. Well, there's no dimethicone in here which is one of the things I try to avoid on my in my skin and hair care. But so far, I think I like this. And that's just based on a real quick test of it that's obviously first reaction to it. Um, but I might end up using this on my face. Um, the sunscreen, I'm going to have to wait on until summer. I don't see, it, it's too dark for me to use now at this point in time. Uh, even though we don't see much of it on my skin at this point. Oh, I'm turning. Um, I suspect on my face it would definitely come up a little too dark. So this is going to wait until summer. And uh, the Golden Mist, I don't know. It's a hydrating mist. I might try this over my makeup, which sometimes gets really dry. And um, let's see what that does. I have a couple of hydrating sprays. I don't use them very much. I don't know why. <laughs> it's horrible. I buy them because I'm like, that sounds cool. And then I use them once or twice and then they, I don't use them again. So we're going to go ahead and give this one a try and see if we can stick with it on the face. All righty. So that's an interesting box. Um, I really do love the packaging. I'm really afraid of the prices when I look up the prices for you guys. But uh, I'm definitely interested in trying them as well. So, I mean, you know, not just testing them on my hand, but actually trying them. And I'm honestly glad that the one item that I was concerned about actually isn't so dark that it is going to be that much of a worry. Um, I would have to check to see if they have anything in a lighter skin tone, assuming any of this is affordable, which it probably isn't. But you never know. <laughs> you never know. It might actually be affordable. We'll have to see. And it does give me something new to play around with in terms of skincare. I don't buy much new skincare anymore. Uh, I'm real happy with most of the stuff that I have, but I don't mind trying something for, you know, less than if I had to go out and buy it. I don't, I don't have a problem with doing that. But anyway, so you have to let me know what you think about this box. Just let me know down below. And in the meantime, that is it for the day. And I hope you like what you've seen. And if you do like what you've seen, I hope you will subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. When you're subscribed, please hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. I currently upload three days a week. That is Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. However, we do have bonus videos. 
And you would need the bell for those because those don't go up on regular days. But you know what? Just just go ahead and hit the bell because the bell will just remind you when we have a video up. And not all of our beauty videos are beauty related. Some are geek related. There's food. We're going to have gardens in the in the summer again. There's stuff. There's stuff. There's stuff. There's stuff that's not makeup related. There is. So you want to have that bell click so you know when a, a video goes up. If you're part of my notification squad, please check both your bell and your subscription to make sure they are both still active. If you choose not to subscribe, well, I'd be sad and disappointed. However, you are always welcome back here. And when you do come back again, don't forget to bring your all right, all right, it's been here long enough that it should be nice and strong. It smells good, even if it's not. That is pathetic. Even the mint is so light. That is barely there. That makes me sad. I'm thinking I may have to throw out all my old tea. Not necessarily all the old stash tea because some of them have been pretty good since, you know, I've started getting back into them. But I think all my old, old, I meant not my sips by tea. Jeez. My stash tea, I think, is going to have to go. It just, there's nothing there. All my favorite teas are falling flat. I'm really disappointed. But it's my fault for having this big, huge order. I mean, at least a year before I started Sips By, at least. <laughs> and hanging on to them for this long. <laughs> That's all on me. At any rate, I'm going to stop babbling in your ear. I'm sure you guys are ready for me to go. And just like I said, let me know down below what you think about this box. And in the meantime, hope you have a good one.